Welcome back. This is The Sit Down, and I'm here with Sharon Horgan and Rob Delaney, the creators and stars of the incredible show, Catastrophe. Good morning, guys. Morning. Hi there. How you doing? Great, thanks. We're okay. Nice to see you. I gotta ask, I just want to start, I'm gonna throw out the script for a second. Terrific. Have you been following this college admission scandal story? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you find as much joy in it? I mean, it's pretty amazing. I mean, there's the horrible aspects and stuff that they use, like special proctors that are to be reserved for kids with disabilities and stuff. So it is, there's a real nefarious, evil element to it where people actually suffer. There's that side of it, and then there's a the side of it where it's just terrific fun. Uh, <laughs> so it's, there's, it's sort of two sides to the coin there. But the sense that Felicity Huffman might be a flight threat is... I know, yeah, yeah that, that was, uh, a little yeah, I, I saw a lot of that too, kind of the overkill that when mm -hmm. it came into taking it into custody, absolutely. Yeah. But enough about the current yeah. news. Yeah. Let's uh, talk catastrophe. Season four, final season, coming to Amazon this yeah. Friday. Yeah. Uh -huh. How did you know it was time to walk away? <sighs> well, <laughs> I was telling my mom this yeah, morning. Yeah, tell me what you said to your mom. I said to my mom, I was like, I couldn't be prouder of Catastrophe, but if we did some bad episodes, that I could be... be less proud. Yeah. So there's no, we're, we've said what we wanted to say. It felt right. And uh, we don't want to make stinkers. Yeah. And I guess we got to end it in the way we wanted to, you know, mm. which not everyone gets a chance to do that. You feel like this gives you the ability to kind of stick yeah. the landing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Stick the landing. Yeah. Yes, that's what yeah. I was going to say. Would you would you guys collaborate again? Because you've made oh, such yeah. an incredible show. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. A, like, like a less, what would the name be? I'm trying to think of what the opposite of Katash I know exactly what, no, I have no idea. <laughs> Jazzin. <laughs> Jazz. No, stick the landing. Yeah. Okay, st so stick the landing. That. Stick it would be landing. very positive and sort of, you know. Jazz just, the landing? Yeah, yeah. Jazz the landing. <laughs> you guys, like, you, you do, though, in Catastrophe, you cover a lot of dark topics as well as being yeah. hilarious. Do you approach joke writing differently when you're covering something like alcoholism or grief? Well, you try and up the jokes for grief. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's just got to be funny, you know, because, like, there's nothing that you can't joke about if your volition is to try and make the world a marginally better place. You know what I mean? So there's no topic that you shouldn't bring humor to bear on, we think. Yeah. So we love to make jokes about, you know, darker stuff. Totally. It helps. It helps. Do you guys have a process? Is there, like, does one of you got to come in with, like, the raw material and then you guys workshop it? Like, what is, what is writing the... I mean, you have so many jokes uh, per episode. We we kind of we both come in with sort of stories and yeah. ideas and stuff, and then sort of over the course of the the writing period, it yeah. sort of gets turned into um, fiction. We just sort of sit side by side with a typewriter, a very old typewriter. It takes a while to <laughs> yeah, get through. Yeah, from Tom Hanks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's probably our biggest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just smoke cigars yeah. and really yeah. workshop it. We just sit there and top mm -hmm. it out. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard work. It's just the two of us. And, mm -hmm. and so, you know, it takes a while to get through it all. But we just sort of... Which is really the best part. I mean, yeah. the writing is the most fun. Then we, the then fun. we look, then we remember that we have to do all the stuff. We did one care. thing in the second or third season where I was like, and then I'm running down the street in my underwear. And then it was yeah. cold out. And I was like, hey, you know what? I'm also the executive yeah. producer. I'm putting on a bathrobe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, nobody could do anything about it. And yeah. that's how it played out. Yeah. Uh, do you... I mean, there's so much that you guys tackle, but one of the things that's being tackled in this season is kind of how men benefit benefit from sexism in the workplace, right? Mm -hmm. Is that why you started your own production company, Merman? Um, I think I started it to, yeah, take control of things um, a little bit. I, and, yeah, to, to work with... Um, Definitely to work with more women to tell more female stories. Not that that's entirely what it's about, but yeah. Do you, do you, is there something you look for in a project? Is there something that, like, how it really catches your eye? I don't know. It's a really tough one to answer. It just has to have something about it that no one else is, is doing. You know, it can't be sort of cookie cutter stuff or something that people just think they should be writing about right now. It just has to have a certain ping. You it's got to have that magic. Yeah, yeah. And, and Rob, you're, 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 you've got a new uh, movie coming out about Fox News. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm acting in um, Jay Roach's uh, new movie about Roger Ailes. Yeah. 
Um, he's uh, one of America's more celebrated sexual predators, mm. and uh, he also started a little <laughs> a little company called Fox News. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's amazing. Um, Charlize he Theron plays Megyn Kelly in it, and I'm her producer. So we kind of not dissimilar to episode five of the new season, where we're trying to figure out you know the sexual politics of the workplace and stuff in a very gray manner. Not like this is right, this is wrong. That's what a lot of that movie is about, and it's uh, yeah. It's a so you're saying we did it first, is what. <laughs> Yeah, what I'm saying is, we did it. Roger Ailes found out about it and then went back in time. Oh. And did all that stuff to those women. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I, did, did you do research for it? Like, uh, to, to be a Fox News producer? And also, like, uh, Th Throne, she kind of said that she has empathy for Megyn Kelly now, in a way. Did you find anything yeah. like that? Yeah, I mean, I don't like Megyn Kelly. I think she's a net negative in the world. Sorry, Megyn. Um, but I do, you do see in this decision-making process, sh she might be a bigot, an overpaid windbag bigot, but she's also a human woman worthy of respect, which Roger Ailes absolutely treated her like a bag of garbage and a lot of other women. So you can, you know, bad things happen to people that I might not like. That doesn't mean I want it to happen, you mm -hmm. know. So, so yeah, you do feel for Megyn Kelly for a little bit, and then you're like, ah, get out of here. <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's, I'm, before I let you guys go, I want to play like a quick game that I feel like you both are the most uniquely qualified to play, all oh. right? It's basically gonna be a version of what is more catastrophic, UK, US edition, all right? Oh, so I'm gonna this. say two things, one from Britain, one mm -hmm. from the US, you let me know which one you think is more of a catastrophe. Are you ready? You got it? I got it. Makes sense? All right. Out of these two heads of state, which is a bigger catastrophe, President Donald Trump or Prime Minister Theresa May? <laughs> I'm glad, I feel like we all see eye to eye on that one. Yeah. I mean, she's terrible, but she can also form sentences. You know what I mean? She's yeah. not, she doesn't have like advanced like neurosyphilis. <laughs> so like she's very <laughs> awful in many similar ways. But, but nobody's yeah, as bad as exactly. Trump. She's read a book or two. Yeah. She's, she, she can, she read. can yeah. read. She yeah. can read. That's what it comes down also, to. Also, what a great dancer. Yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which tabloid is the bigger catastrophe? <laughs> Sorry, that was really okay. good. The bigger, bigger catastrophe, TMZ or the Daily Mail? Uh, I, I don't really know TMZ, but the Daily Mail is a real piece of shit. Dude, you, you guys Dude, are seeing eye to eye. Fox News has so much work to do. It's in its infancy of sowing hatred compared to British press. It can't even compete. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah. Do you guys have a, a moment? Do you have a story, something you remember where the Daily Mail just really did you wrong? Not did me wrong? No, me no. Personally. Um, hmm. but, Wish I did. Yeah. <laughs> this segment. Right yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But, but basically, they're the worst. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Got it. Fast food chain, Popeyes, or Nando's? I don't know Popeyes. I you think know, Popeyes is I the bigger think... catastrophe? I mean, Nando's I mean, cares strong. about your chicken yeah. experience. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Nando's is like legitimate it, Portuguese I mean, recipes. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not as good as they as they make out, you know, but, but they, it's grand, yeah. it's fine, yeah. Like if, somebody's, <laughs> like if you wind up at Nando's, I'm, I don't seek it out, but when I wind up there, I'm like, I'm glad yeah, I'm here. Yeah, fine, but what do Popeyes make? Well, let me tell you, it's fried chicken, and I'm actually, oh, I'm okay. a big Popeyes guy, right. but I've never had Nando's. Okay, so Popeyes, I like Popeyes. Yeah, yeah. I just like Nando's more, so it's not, I'm not saying Popeyes is bad, I'm just saying Nando's do is Popeyes better. Do Popeyes peri-peri? No, 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 oh, fried okay. chicken. All oh, right, right. All right, all right, I got last one. TV host, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> or Piers Morgan. <laughs> oh, oh I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Both of them, you're trying to rip They're it apart. Not. Like Piers Morgan, they asked me to be on Piers Morgan the other day, and uh, I was like, really? no. Yeah. And I would no, why waste anyone's time? Literally, <laughs> including his. I just throw I, things. I, I actually am gonna go say Tucker Carlson. He's much. He's more of a monster. I mean, Piers is an, uh, more of a fool and a sort of minor bigot. Tucker seems like a well, terrible just bad. Just for that, I'm gonna do this, what? and here's why. Ooh, Tucker Carlson debate. has never done anything good, whereas Piers Morgan is a little bit more of a of a of a intellectual play. He's like. Okay, Okay, what should I do the opposite of today to get in the news? And he was like big on gun control yeah. in America. So he said, I can think of one good thing that he's done. Whereas yeah. Tucker Carlson 
can suck my diarrhea out of Ooh. my butt. Oh, okay, wow. I actually would say that that seems like you guys agree. <laughs> oh, Tucker wait. Carlson is but the But no, worst. what I'm saying is I'm mad at Piers Morgan because he knows better. Tucker Carlson right. is just uh, a dwarf. Uh, uh, <laughs> FM. <laughs> and we are going to leave it there. Guys, okay. congratulations on such an incredible show. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's so, so good, and so many people love it. Thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, listen, the fourth and final season of Catastrophe will be streaming on Amazon Prime this Friday, March 15th. Up next, we're talking about the Bachelor finale. Do you guys have any, like, real hot takes? you wanted to